Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 12 Pro completely crushed uh, you, as you can see from the back glass and the housing uh, with a Wi-Fi problem and Bluetooth problem uh, so just basically uh, great Wi-Fi and keep surging Bluetooth uh, so obviously the phone came after uh, got uh, after the phone got a huge impact and also um, I don't know if it's a secret or not the iPhone 12 uh, series have this problem with weak pads between the two boards so I'm expecting to uh, be a disconnection between the two boards and um, some missing pads in this repair. So before we start to separate the boards because we have a hardware problem I would like to mention that in iPhone 12 series uh, Apple made two versions or maybe more depends if you are living in China so basically American version which comes with 5G antenna that is soldered on the board and with a lot of other antennas and ICs for the 5G functionality and a European version which does not have a 5G antenna on the board which what we have today but I will make a short video very soon about the iPhone 12 with 5G antennas and how to desolder the antenna to separate the boards if you are using a preheater and talk more about spotting the difference between the two versions and also a small part about diagnosed problems in the American version. So for separating, I'm using the Sunshine T12A preheater for iPhone 12 series. I have used their uh, preheaters for both iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 now. Uh, they are all right. Uh, you can turn up the temperature to 300 Celsius, but I'm using the uh, I'm using 190 to 220 Celsius to uh, separate it. Uh, sorry, to separate the iPhone 12. And actually, this is the first time I'm separating a European version port without the 5G antenna. Uh, so after the separation, uh, we will jump onto the microscope and check uh, both sides of the board. We have our board separated, and as you can see, we have a lot of grayed out pads. It could be due to the impact, or it could be also due to, due to the um, low temperature that we use to separate the boards with our preheater. Uh, either way, now I'm going to speed forward the cleaning process as always. And also we can see that we have a couple of missing pads. Uh, we are going to check them after we finish cleaning process on both boards. Set. We have a lot of, uh, not a lot of, just a couple of uh, missing pads because this is uh, the iPhone 12 board or iPhone 12 Pro board is a little big and this is the RF board. After the cleaning, everything looks okay. So now we're going to check how many pads we have missing. One, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 around 21 not all of them are uh, very important most of them are ground but now let's jump to zxw and see which li which lines or which pads are important so we can renew them so here we have the uh, zxw and we already opened the iphone 12 pro with the core in the rf but uh, this is the main thing over here let's just zoom in and from here, as you can see, the pads that are close to the edges, I guess. I don't know why Siri just popped up. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, all of the pads are ground. And uh, the pads that we are missing, most of them are in this area. So this is 
uh, a pad that goes to NFC, uh, Wi-Fi uh, from the CPU, also Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. So those are the basement to uh, basement PMU. Okay, camera, and those are also Wi-Fi. So as you can see, most of the lines or most of the pads are Wi-Fi. So we are going to renew all the pads, and then after we finish uh, everything, we are going to test in the board tester and check if we have uh, our Wi-Fi back and Bluetooth. And uh, after that, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to show an example how I do my jumper separately and solder them on the root. Again, I'm using a 0.01 millimeter thin wire as I used in my iPhone 11 uh, Pro video. And uh, also, uh, this is my way to make jumpers on a sandwich board, so be comfort using any other method. Uh, I know it could be a slow process, but this is the most comfortable and reliable, uh, reliable uh, method uh, for me if you don't have of course the dot repairing solder uh, it could be again uh, a slow process and hard process for other repair technicians uh, i respect all your comments about my work but as always my content is about showing how i repair apple products my way and uh, of course other stuff uh, so uh, now i'm going to speed forward to this uh, jumper process and catch you after uh, we finish our work Finished all our jumpers, now let's go to the board tester to check our work. So I'm using the Camry board tester aka iSocket to test both board connection uh, before we solder everything together. Uh, so this is a 4-in-1 board tester for iPhone 12 series and of course don't forget to connect the upper flex so you will have a functional backlight without you will have uh, the minimum backlight on and you cannot turn it up. And uh, now as you can see Let's check over here. Yep, and as you can see, we have our Wi Fi, our Bluetooth. Now let's go to settings and just check if everything is okay. I didn't connect the uh, antenna Wi Fi, so we will not have a network. Uh, let's just see in about if we have modern firmware. Yep, everything's okay. 
and just let's dial and everything is okay we are going to um, rebolt the board and uh, solder the boards together so the same process for the iphone 12 we are going to use a low temperature uh, soldering paste uh, basically for all the iphone board sandwiches and i'm using the canly uh, stencil to rebolt the rf board to solder the boards together to be honest it's not that perfect but it does the work and after that we're going to solder the boards together with again with our sunshine uh, preheater again with the 5g antenna 5g antenna is another deal uh, but we are focusing on the european version today and uh, i'm using a 170 to 180 uh, silicius to solder the boards together and after that we're going to make our final test to check if everything is working perfectly uh, we are going to test the Wi-Fi network, the Bluetooth, and the NFC, the modem firmware, and more. So uh, I'll catch you in the final test. So here we go. We soldered everything. I also changed the housing of the of this iPhone. You can see the old one. I'm going to show you. Here we go. And now we're going to test everything. Let's just go to settings now. I'm going to show you uh, that this is the same board but without cameras and stuff and uh, let's just go to general about and uh, as you can see this is the same phone the same serial number and let's go now and check the Wi-Fi I'm also going to uh, check the uh, NFC this is like the credit of the uh, of the video I also uh, signed up with my account so I can download the NFC tool so I can read the NFC chip to test the NFC function let's just go read it's a little far from uh, where I'm recording so I'm just going to read as you can see read is successful so I guess uh, yeah that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future as always uh, stay safe and have a good day and uh, this is for the iPhone 12 series as the beginning of the iPhone 12 uh, playlist series in the channel and again stay safe and have a good day I'll catch you guys in another repair video peace out